Okay, welcome back. Um, let's get into it. Let's take a day break <laughs> from playing. Last uh, last game session was uh, really really heavy. Anyways, we're new day. I was hoping for new music. <laughs> It's the same one. What do we have here? Renans and their lords. Okay, so it's just a continuation of the getting to know the different Renan lords. This area doesn't look as badly damaged as that other district we went through. Indeed, the effects of Lenegus's transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Or, viewed another way, this area was simply luckier. This, uh, this Zugul over here does not give any, uh... Any, uh... Poops. <laughs> He's just standing there. Anyways, uh, let's not waste too much time. Pardon me. Okay, she's quite angry. Uh, this area falls under the sole jurisdiction of House Kynaris. Was asked you to depart at once. Surely you don't claim to be ignorant of our famed house. Ruled over by the esteemed Lord Almadria. <laughs> if so, I urge you to listen well. In fact, I bid you listen carefully regardless. Have you ever noticed how in the history of Lenegas only a few women lords have emerged to compete in the crown contest? Many have theories as to why this might be, but Lord Almadria quashed the doubts of any naysayers through sheer might. In fact, not only did she usurp her father and previous family master, she also renowned her, removed her old brother to claim the seat for herself. <laughs> She is a woman who stops at nothing to get what she wants, who gives her enemies nary the slightest opening to strike. Truly, Lord Amedra is a woman of talent. No one in all Rena better exemplifies the virtues of her nation's merito meritocracy. <laughs> Soon, the age of a glorious woman sovereign reigning over Lenigus shall be upon us at last. I guess her willingness to stoop to any low came from a survival of the fittest worldview. And some people here not only shared her belief, but championed it as morally right, too. That doesn't make it true. Too bad they couldn't see through her. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter, she's dead now. It's interesting that they wrote the, uh, the feminist character as uh, obnoxious and uh, annoying. That is not our problem. Our problem is this nagging music. <laughs> Ridiculous! Mm, how loathsome. Mm. Oh, I was just reading about Valron. Can I help you? Okay. Always an ardent supporter. I was always an ardent supporter of Lord Urvagil Hildris myself. Were it not for his sudden death down on the surface, I likely still would be. In my eyes, Lord Ur Urvagil is a true water lord. I don't believe for a second that he perished in some accident, like they say. Yeah. As for how Valron runs Ganet Harrows, don't get me started. I hear he enslaves not only Danins but also even, but even his fellow Renans. I may live in a society where to the victor go the spoils, but his actions go against what we was what we as a people stand for. Besides, just what sort of family line is this? House Igniseri of his? Anyways. Oh. Besides, just what sort of family line is this house Igniseri of his anyway? I'd never heard of it until he came along, which means they must be among the lowest dregs of society. That's such an ign ignoble lineage. Ignoble? Ignoble? Whatever. Lineage could suddenly produce an astral artist capable of ascending to lordship is unheard of. None of it makes me any sense, not to mention all of the upheaval around here of late. What is happening to our people? He could have been. It seems uh, like the people on Lenegus don't really know much about Volron either. I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of Ganeth Harrows changed so abruptly. Didn't you have any doubts that something suspicious was going on? On the contrary. Remember, we Renans are raised to accept everything at face value. When you think about it, the families of Renan lords must see them differently than the rest of us. Yeah, despite the brutality they're known for. They must have had a lot on their shoulders. 
carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. Renans live in a world where strength and power determine their position in the social hierarchy, so they tend to grow up fiercely competitive. But their loyalty to their people is also strong. It's what brings them together against outside forces, and nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That's what makes them the guardians of all of Rena, so to speak. Right. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts, and Ganabelt went after you. Because we're threats to Rena. Guess that makes you an even bigger oddball than we thought. So, Alfin, have you gained anything from all of this? Yeah. I think it's made me realize that the Lords were all people, too. Balsif and the others? They all had their own circumstances to deal with as they went through life. Yeah, but still, just because they had loved ones in their lives doesn't mean... I know. What they did was horrible. I'm not trying to dispute that. But at the same time, they weren't incomprehensible monsters either. They were individuals, just like the rest of us. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... You're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, or because they were terrible monsters. Even if they did terrible things, they were still just people. Renwell, am I wrong? Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't make you a good person. And being a Renan doesn't make you a bad one. I think that's something we've all seen. Shion and Dohalim definitely make a good case for it. And I'm going to keep doing my best to make sure I earn that trust. As a fellow human being above all else. That's how they read into all of that? That's not what I got. Not at all. I think my conclusion from last episode about savior slash hero complexes uh, stands. Even worse so when you hear about Almadria and... Uh, and Volron. Which I think is a product of some sort. And, uh, recover the ultimate ingredient. Subquest cleared, Skybound Swarm. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's any particularly good boost strike. Um, faster AG recovery, I suppose, that's not too bad. Linwell, Linwell has a lot of stuff. What can I increase down damage, increase boost strike damage, increase weak point damage, that's probably... Eh. Let's go with damage. What do we have here? Increase boost gauge from downed enemies. Ah, I've gotta wait because at some point I'm gonna have to do the trials with this uh, character and... My god. <laughs> so I need to put points into anything that makes that easy. Um, Alright, let's continue. Rape gel. There's something I just don't get. What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous contest. Yeah, that makes sense. So, who was it then? Han freaked Milgroth. The former lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. So then this Han freaked whatchamacallim, he's the current ruler of Rena? The last I heard, yes. Though admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. You're saying that ever since becoming sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenigus from the Motherland, sovereign or otherwise. And that never struck you as a little bit... odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And to what end? A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, 
There should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegion, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? <sighs> Quite frankly, I'm not even sure what to believe anymore. You and me both. Though we are Renan by blood, neither of us even knew that such a thing as a Dark Master core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No use standing around here chatting about it then. Let's get a move on. Okay. Maybe I still think that um, the story is somewhere in the ballpark of on a regular basis they need to siphon the astral energy out of Dana to bring it back to Rena to maintain some sort of stability and uh, and maybe the uh, the crown contest victor is whoever can contain all that energy or something like that. We'll get the details probably. Do. Faria. Faria? Isn't that the person that Avakir guy Shh. was- But why are you here? Wait, don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still- Kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you! If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else! You're just a coward! Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first, and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the Crown Contest, and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Oh, good, no skits. Honestly, I don't care about this part of the uh, Dohalim storyline because we've seen it already. Like, uh, these, uh, the people that have paced the story in this game, they haven't done a good job, because they already showed this. They showed this a long time ago, we've already known about it, we already kind of put it at the back of our minds, just to have it brought back up. Like, it's, 
there's no emotional investment at this point. At least not for me. It's like, there's nothing new. There's no character development, no in, nothing. This is the wrong way. If anything, the most interesting part of that is why that red uh, woman showed herself. Zoogles. Okay. Just walking through even more linear. <laughs> Everything looks the same uh, area. No. Wrong over here, I wonder though. what we can make with this. Don't fool. If you can't decide, I'll have it raw. Hey, wait! Don't eat that. Too late. Too late. Is that a zoogle over there? No, it's a guard. <laughs> some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... we used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <sighs> Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A friendship based on mutual respect in a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? 
combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less, she would have been devastated. So instead, you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other Lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Alfin. Yeah? I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. It goes both ways. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe, but I still wanted to say thank you. I wonder if some of those social class comments is a wailed uh, commentary on uh, Japanese society or not. I don't know. Either way, the only interesting part of that is uh, the dirty trick that was uh, used. I would like to know what that was, but instead, most of that was stuff we already predicted or uh, already knew. I see a medic and supply officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. But then again, we're getting used to most of the dialogue just being on repeat at this point. They're really stretching this out. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Sure. Let's check the ranch. I guess we're entering the Zoogles then now. Can't play Tales of Zoogles. Without Zoogles. Craft that. You haven't really gotten a lot of money lately. Which is clearly because we haven't done anything. We've been basically trapped in dialogue <laughs> for hours. So I don't really have the freedom to just make stuff right now. Can I sell? Nope, nothing. Because again, nothing has happened. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Actually, let's see.
Medium CP heal. Eh, it's fine. Just go for HP. No, I press make with someone else. What? That's bad. Oh well. Alright. In we go. 